Yeah, I don't I don't have access to our social media. Um so I don't I don't know what questions you posed there, Vashon. I'm sorry. I know that you you posed a number of them on there is what I had heard, but uh, I don't I don't have access to that. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Well, um, well, let's uh, let's start off with the questions that I do have in 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 there. Then uh, this what where where are you guys located? We're in Shreve, Ohio, which is down in the Worcester, Ohio area. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you guys, so you guys is in, uh, is in this. What's what? What considers that? What south east area of Ohio? No, it would be what I would consider um, north central. I don't know. I mean, you're you're halfway between Mansfield and Canton, basically. Oh, okay. Is, is where you're at between seventy one and and seventy seven, about halfway on sitting on thirty. Okay, 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 okay. All right. So around that area, uh, is there is there a radius uh, that that you guys hire in, or do you guys hire throughout the forty eight, or just in the just in the Ohio radius? Yeah. So we try to hire within about fifty miles of here. Uh, it's closer than that on the local stuff. So if we're doing regional, it would be within 50 miles of here is where we try to hire within. If it's local, then we would, we really would probably target something closer to 25 or 30 miles. Okay. Okay. Uh, would that be because of, of us getting home every week or, well, let me also, let me also, let me also, let me also broaden that. So would that be because of us getting home every week? And also, would we be able to take the trucks home when we do come home every week? Yeah. So most most of the time, we don't we don't we park the trucks here on the regional drivers. Uh, And so the reason we do that is we've got maintenance here on the weekends and we've got folks washing the trucks on the weekends as well. So if at all possible, we try to park the trucks here. Uh, We will at times. Um, work through um, and and potentially uh, park remotely, but but really, if it, if at all possible, um, if at all possible, we try to we try to park here. So okay, okay, cool. Uh, can you tell me yeah. a little? Can you tell me a little bit about the company and what type of freight do you guys haul? Yeah, so it's general commodities. Our our regional stuff is going to be dry van stuff. We try to stay away from food stuff and stay out of uh, food warehouses if at all possible. Uh, so we we haul a lot of paper. We haul insulation. We we haul um, just general dry commodity. Um, and is is really kind of what we uh, what we do. That I'm assuming the I'm I'm assuming the food and the groceries is because of uh of uh extensive detention for the drivers you got it and so our guys average our regional guys average 2700 to 3300 miles a week you're not going to get that if you're going in and out of 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 grocery warehouses just because of the time frame of getting unloaded uh, in in a lot of those instances yep okay 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 how how much experience uh do one need to 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 come to come two years we would we'd be looking for at least two years. All right, two years. All right. What's the uh, what's the starting pay for a person? Well, let me ask you this: What's the starting pay for a person that has about that two year mark? And what's the starting pay for a person that got like five years or more? Yeah. So it it our starting pay comes starts at forty five for a guy that's got two years experience. Um, it goes all the way up to 55 cents a mile. Um, our local stuff is hourly then, and our local stuff pays 20 an hour. Okay, 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 cool. Now, this is what, w, W-2? And if it is W-2, what benefits yes. do you guys offer? And yep. uh, Medical, oh, medical dental, 401k. Nope, you're good. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, is this comp- Now, as far as the the benefits, is it is it company paid for or is it a percentage? So it is, we will split on it. Uh, and so we offer three different plans with three, it's three different versions of the medical. Uh, it's all the same insurance. It's just different deductible levels for you. Uh, and so there's 
lots and lots of different scenarios that could play out there. Uh, if someone were to be interested in that, we can kind of delve into the details uh, with that individual on what that cost would be, their portion would be on that. Uh, but but it's it is a it is a share. Okay, awesome. Okay, uh, do you guys offer ten ninety nine or no? So we've got a handful of guys that that are owner operators. Um, a lot of those guys are doing steel hauling for us, and so uh, if they're interested in doing steel hauling, we can we can have that conversation. Um, but for the most part, our van stuff doesn't. It doesn't make sense from a from a ten ninety nine perspective. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, as far as home time, so let me be direct with the home time sure. because uh, home time with some companies could be vague. So yes, it is. So regional drivers are home. Yep. Every week is that at the end of the week that they're home on Friday, and then they go back out on Monday. Or is this like a 34 that they're home on Friday and then they had to end up leaving back out on Sunday, which technically only gives a driver one day off? Yeah, so I would say it's somewhere in between the two. Um, it's not, it isn't, uh, a lot of our guys will go out Sunday afternoon. So they're getting 48 hours more than it's more than 34. They're getting closer to 48 uh, time at home, um, sometimes 56, depending on what time they get in and what time they go out. Uh, but for the most part, uh, we've got most of our guys are doing are doing 48 hours, uh, 48 to 56 time at home uh, versus a 34, but not the not what you're talking about there where it's you know friday afternoon and and out monday morning okay awesome okay uh what type of equipment and where are they governed at yeah they're governed at 70 uh so you can cruise at 70 the um the equipment are three years or newer they're pete's and kenworths uh cummins engines 13 speed trannies we've got some automatics as well uh so it's it's very nice equipment. We've got maintenance here on site, um, but they do a they do a nice job of one specking the equipment uh, just to uh, make sure that they are um, set up to be comfortable while you're out over the road, and then and then they do a very nice job of maintaining and, and keeping them cleaned up. Then, do you guys cover parking for uh, for truck stops like uh, like Flying J's if a driver has to has to pay for uh, has to pay for parking. Do you guys reimburse drivers for that? I I've not had anyone ask me that question. I don't I don't know the answer to that one. That's one I'm going to have to find out for you. Uh, <laughs> God, I would assume God. so. Yes, but that's an that's an interesting one. I've not. I I'm, my assumption is yes, but I I will have to ask that specifically and 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 find out. All right. Awesome. Driver facing cameras. No. Out. Uh, outward facing, but not, but not inward facing. Okay. Okay. Now, being that this is a, a regional company, your running lanes is going to be anywhere from where, from Ohio to, to where? Ohio, we're going to, we get, we do a lot of Northeast regional. And so uh, you're going to see a lot of I-80. Our number one state we're going to land in is Massachusetts. Now that's not to say that you're not going to go south. I had a guy in uh, I know, I know. It's hey, I I try to be upfront and honest with everyone as we go I through. I appreciate this. It takes the that. Right person, uh, it takes the right person in the right situation, and and uh, but yeah, it's it's Northeast Regional. You're going to see eighty. You're going to see uh, you're going to see Mass. Um, we don't we don't force anyone into the city. I've got someone going to the city today though, um, and uh, and so it's it's Northeast Regional heavily. Um, we're going to. Other than that, you're going to see the Midwest and South some, but if you don't if you don't want to do the Northeast, this is probably uh, a hard place to be successful. Gotcha, gotcha, and and that's a good and that's that's a good answer, bro. That's that's the way to come to, to come at you because you know a lot of people want to just you know the, you guys want to sit a lot of people in the seat, and by the time they get in the seat and find out that. You know, they're they're yeah. suggested to go up to the northeast is like 
yeah, I kind of wish you told me that in the beginning, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, that's normally if 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 it's a normal situation, that's about the third or fourth point that we get to normally. This is a little different scenario here, LaShawn, just because the fact that we're going through your questions, but uh, that's usually about the third point that I ask is, you know, hey, are you are you insurable? Do you have enough experience? Do you want to go to the Northeast? So it's about the third about the third question we get to normally. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, sign on bonus. Is there one? There is not. All right, cool. What's and I guess uh, the last question that I got is like, what's your retention? Like, how do you guys, uh, you know, keep your drivers happy? How do we keep them happy? Um, uh, well, the the biggest thing is, um, it's a it's a small family owned company, and the the two brothers that own the company, the Ken and Chris, um, they've got relationships with the guys, and they know the guys by by name and they know them and they know what they go through because both owners have their CDL, both drive on a regular basis, both understand the business and both work in the business. So it's not someone that um, has just a working knowledge of how transportation works. They see it on a regular basis. They're out in trucks. They know what you guys are going through Um, from a traffic perspective, from a Four wheelers behavior perspective, uh, from an e log perspective, they they know all of those pieces, and so they're very good to work with, and and so it really is all about relationship, and and kind of figuring out the rhythm that each driver has, and and figuring out how to make them as successful as they possibly can, and and meet their needs. So, to me, that's the the biggest piece here. So. I appreciate it. Yo, I, I do appreciate the time. Listen, man, I am uh, I am heavy in social media as far as uh, okay. connecting, connecting with drivers, uh, new drivers, drivers that's interested in coming over to new companies. Um, I spotlight a lot of especially Ohio, you know, considering that I'm from Ohio. I spotlight yep. companies like Dick Levy, uh, Wooster Motorways, uh, companies that's, you know, that's Ohio heavy. And I have a I have a following of uh, in my social media network that can, you know, help get your get the name out and everything. Um, if you like, can you send me your uh, like if you have an Atelier link or. Uh, you know, a phone number or something like that that you like potential drivers to, you know, reach sure. out to you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can you send all that to me and I will pass that along with everybody in my network. Yeah. And so hopefully sure, uh, do you want me to text it to you or how do you want me to get it to you? Here, uh, if you like, uh, you could you could test it to me if it's easier. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. So I'll I'll text you a link to the uh, to the recruiting webpage, and it'll have on that has the uh, the short form link as well as then my phone number is on there, my direct lines on there as well, so that'll give everyone what they need there. So all right, awesome, awesome. And let me ask you Very this: let, let me ask you this direct question, man. You sure. you being the recruiter for you know for this company. Are, and you already mentioned the fact that you said you was open and honest, and I do appreciate that, and I take that as an uh, as in account. Sure. But let me ask you this: Do you get a uh, 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 do you get some type of of conversation by getting drivers in there, or are you directly with the company? Because you know we get calls all the time from from recruiters that's outside of the company and only yeah. and only yeah. trying to get no. people in, you know, for, you know, for them to get compensated. And here, this is the joy of a, a smaller company. Uh, well, I've worked for big companies before this. I'm worked directly for the, the Wood family. Uh, I do safety. I do recruiting. I do a number of different roles here. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not a third party recruiter. I am, a member of the the CRW team, uh, and uh, and so I'm I'm not I'm not a third party recruiter or anything like that. Well, that's what's up, bro. All right. Well, thank you very right. much for your time, man. I really do appreciate it, and uh, and definitely when you you know give me all that over, I will I I'll will shoot put you a text here in just a couple minutes here. Not a problem, and I would get I would get everything that we talked about and everything go online very shortly. 